Jam School Remix. Here's how to cheat your way to victory and a race to inflate. To do this, you're gonna need to get some thin <laughs> kitchen trash bags. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all of the air and set it up like a balloon. You have to have okay. your fingers all the way around the top, right? In this first go round, I'm just gonna test you guys. We're gonna have a race. I'm gonna open up my timer here. The rules <laughs> are, first of all, you must use your breath to inflate it. You can't, you can't just spin around like a doing a pirouette. Your hand has to be enclosed. You have to have finger touching at all times. And that's pretty much it. It's a race to inflate it. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So this is a good moment to point out that you've got, what, a couple of pints, maybe a couple of quarts of air. 6.3 liters. Is that, do you know this? 6.3 liters in your lungs, is that true? From when it was measured when I was a kid. <laughs> Fine, you got 6.3 liters of air in there, but we're looking at uh, how many? Now the problem is, as you noticed, that you don't want to hyperventilate. You run out of steam pretty fast, but you're a competitive bastard. <laughs> it's tight, man. That's it. There we go. 36 seconds. 36 <laughs> seconds. Not bad. What if I were to say we were going to have a race? Okay. And that I would be able to inflate mine first and have enough time left over to drink a whole pint of beer. I would be astounded. Wow. Sir. <laughs> wow. We're going to try it. So I'm going to turn this over to you. Okay. You'll be the time master here. So Go first off, I have to thank John Maverick for coming up with this. As far as he knows, it's totally original to him. <laughs> but the idea is, I'm going to tell you in advance, I'm going to have to drink the beer just as fast as I can. <laughs> Hopefully I can make that happen in 15, 16, 20 seconds. Once I drink the beer, whatever time I have left, I'm okay. going to try to inflate this. Now here's the thing, I will be using my breath but I'll be using uh, Bernoulli's principle. Are you familiar with Bernoulli's principle? Yes. So what I'm gonna do, I'll keep my fingers enclosed the entire time. I'm gonna open this gap up as wide as I can, but I will not- I just realized what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I will not put it up to my lips. No, and you And instead, won't. I will blow from this distance, creating a pocket of high air pressure that hopefully will inflate this entire thing in about three breaths. So we'll see if it can pull off. 36 seconds? 36.7 seconds. Ready? All right. Three, two, one, drink. <laughs> He's ahead of pace on the drinking. Wow. That's astounding. Oh, time. <clears throat> uh, 12 seconds. Time! 29 Woo! <laughs> 29 like magic, man. All right, so try it, try it. So here's what All you right, guys so have to do. And you gotta hold it like you're about to inflate it like a balloon. All right, and make then a pretty flower. you wanna make your hole as wide as possible. <laughs> and then uh, once you have that opening, uh, then just blow right in front of it, all right? And so ready, go. Hey. Yeah! Once you get that sweet spot, <laughs> boom! And now pop it. Oh, you popped it. I was gonna That's try right. it. Boom. I was going to get all Bernoulli on Dude, you guys are here. Fake toast me. That was a Fake lot of fun. Me. Thank you so much, John Maverick. In and of itself, blowing into a bag and having it inflate, that's nothing but a dumb physics demo. Nobody's going to care. Yes, it'll be somewhat interesting, but when you add elements of a competition, when you add elements of slamming a beer and making it more about the bar experience, it becomes more outrageous, more over the top, and it becomes a spectacle that everybody wants to participate in. Yes, you could take something as simple as a physics principle and use it to score free beer. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Are you wondering what this is? Well, this is Scam School Remix, the best of our 10 years and 600 plus episodes of Scam School. Each episode time compressed to make you a wizard in the shortest time possible. Not like those fraud institutions like Hogwarts.